Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this DIY window seat build, as well as these stainless steel ring pull handles that sit flush on the surface and soft close hinges that made this project work. This is Mare Product Reviews. I love my big bay window in the side of our kitchen. Recently, we moved the table to the other end of the kitchen and had a small couch here, and we decided to get rid of that and build in a window seat. So step one was scoring along the edges so that we can pull off these baseboards. And the biggest challenge with that was doing it in such a way that we weren't cutting our curious little puppy who very much wanted to be involved. and she's quite hands-on with our tools. Once we started prying those baseboards off, we knew this project was serious and there was no turning back now. This is happening. With the baseboards off, it's time to start building in the framework. We could have also torn up our flooring here to go underneath the actual bench, but we decided that we were just gonna leave it in. Our bench has two doors that open, so you can see the two individual pieces of wood there that are just placed in right now until we get them on hinges and have handles.
And now for the trim work. Just a little bit of trimming really makes the whole thing come together. I was really anxious for this project to get done because obviously it was in the middle of my kitchen and this is what my kitchen countertop looked like, covered in tools every single day. So our bench opens up from the top, but because it's a bench and you're sitting on them, we needed a very specific kind of handle. We needed one that went completely flat and nothing stuck up, but has a little divot in the center where you can reach down and pull the handle part up. These handles were so perfect and in order to install them, they go flat onto the piece of wood and you can just see that you have to drill out into the wood and they sit right in so that your handle is flush on top and when you're sitting on the bench, you can sit right on top of the handle and you don't even notice. I'm gonna have more details about those handles at the end and you can find the product links written up below. But first, let's get back to this bench. It is time to paint. We decided to do a white paint to match our trim so it's just got this very nice, clean, built-in look. The hinges were also really important on this project. Because these are big, heavy, solid wood doors and we have a home with a puppy and three children, we wanted to make sure that this wouldn't be slamming shut. So we used these soft close hinges and we tried a couple ways to put these on. Here's what worked for us, putting two together in the center of each one of these large doors. We could have just built this in with a flat top and it would have been easier on this project, but we want to utilize all of that space inside for storing appliances and various things in our kitchen. And we wanted to make sure that it was nice and safe with those big heavy doors. And you can see that it just closes down nicely. On the one side, we have to flip the handle down. And for some reason on the other side, it will close nice and slowly. You can see that it goes quickly and then catches right there. And this one will close and the handle just goes flush. That door turned out perfect. We ended up finishing this project a little bit after we got locked in and we're doing school from home and work from home for our COVID-19. And we are so pleased with the project. Now that we're all home to enjoy it, it really has become a favorite spot in the house. On sunny afternoons, my kids and my dog love to sit and sunbathe across the window seat. And if you pull a little table up in front, it is perfect chair level. So you could have an extra table in the kitchen and use this as a sitting bench around a table. We got these stainless steel ring pull handles on Amazon from SMBBIT, and you can find the product link for this in my write up below. And these soft close hinges from Apex Stone we got on Amazon as well, and that product link will be in the write up below too. I have always wanted a built-in window seat like this since I was a girl, and we just love our sunny little spot. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you found something in this video to be helpful for you. Check out my channel, Mare Product Reviews, for more DIY projects like this one and product reviews. I'll see you guys next time.